Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah uh, which I'm sure you've already subscribed to this channel it's a very important channel <laughs> I've been doing videos about certain sports stars be it in cricket, be it in football pausing the game to go and break their fast or open their fast last week I think there was a report of a Leicester City player but this week there is a report of somebody we pretty much all know. What's my name? Paul Pop. That's a gen, yeah. I can't see it! Alright guys, quickly, so before we begin, the first step of our journey to learning the Quran needs to be a positive and a great one. However, when you look at the Qaeda's that are out there, that's not necessarily the case and that's why Alhamdulillah I've helped design, <laughs> simplify one that is colourful, modern, easy to follow, has a whiteboard to practice writing at the Jaweed section and so much more. We tried to pack it out for you guys, paper quality is brilliant, print quality is excellent, I mean check it in the link in the description guys and order your one now. And let's make our first step to learning the Quran a colourful, positive and an encouraging one. Paul Pogba is one of the star players of English football club Manchester United and in yesterday's match against Roma they won 6-2 and Pogba himself set up two goals and managed to get one himself as well. He played so well that they ended up giving him two drug tests. A day later we found out that he had been fasting throughout the game. Say what? Now let's put this in perspective yeah, this is just over 16 hours with no food or drink. Why? So he can attain nearness to his creator. As well as the Arab Twitter handle of Manchester United confirmed this itself. Here's the translation of the post. Pogba was fasting for Ramadan on Thursday. He broke his fast drinking water during the game and ate dinner at full time. Sports journalist Rashmin Chowdhury said, Paul Pogba was fasting for Ramadan last night. At full time he quickly ate, then reappeared for media interviews, sipping an energy drink, all this with a massive smile. I asked how he manages fasting and playing. He looked up, pointed and said, Allah helps us. So guys, when I actually read this I was on the bus and I, I have to admit, my eyes welled up yeah and it was it was because it was such a pure response it's it's like you know what tawheed you know just allah you know he helps and coming from someone of his stature in fact a couple of days before he had an interview for the manchester united's own website he says i've been doing it for years i have a professional nutritionist as well yeah that helps him and then he goes on to say it's not hard and of course it's for a good cause. What an absolute legend. When asked what being a Muslim meant to him back in 2019, he told the Times, it's everything. That's what makes me thankful for everything. And I guess that's what fasting is. Yeah, fasting cuts the strings from the things that normally pull us in different directions. Yeah, rooted in food, rooted in physical desire, rooted in shaitan misleading us. All of these things are cut off. It's like as a computer we're put in safe mode. Only the vital programs have been loaded so we can function properly. And then we find out what the issues are and then we load properly after Ramadan. And I guess one thing that I want to say for the people that aren't generally practicing yet. Yeah? What sometimes the uber practicing people do is they say oh you guys you're doing drugs mate and now you're going to the masjid to pray? Look at you mate. Yeah hang on a minute yeah, you doing drugs carries its own sin. You not praying carries its own sin. What this individual is trying to get you to do is get two sets of sins, one for the drugs and one for missing salah. I'm sorry if you do drugs that's a sin, it's wrong but if you miss salah that's another sin, sin? that's another sin and that's going to be wrong as well. Don't fall in this trap of building up your bad deeds. You do something bad follow up with something good yeah at least keep that good thing going and inshallah there is hope that you'll be able to wean yourself off that negative thing yeah. So guys those of you watching look change doesn't come overnight 
yeah, but have this mentality, want to change. And I know sometimes the practicing people can really feel like they they own the, the ticket to Jannah, yeah, they own the copyright and the monopoly of the religion. I'm sorry, they don't. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Thank you. After the video finishes, you raise your hand, you speak to Allah. You tell him, you tell him what the issue is. Yeah, you tell him why you need his help. Speak to him. Speak to him. We speak to everybody else but Allah. Yeah, we complain. But complain to Allah. Cry in front of Allah and you see how Allah changes you. Look, Islam is not something to be done on Jumu'ah on the weekend. Yeah, no matter what position in life you get in, no matter how much materials you get, whether you are at Paul Pogba's level, you still need Allah because nothing will fill that void. How can I get you guys to understand that? And that's why we put these clips of celebrities to show that this is what we're chasing and they're chasing what we have. So let's not get it twisted guys. May Allah give us the ability to value what we have, appreciate what we have and become close to Him. Let's leave it there guys. Always a pleasure until next time. <laughs> What's my name? Paul Pub. <laughs> <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.